guys, so in today's video I'll be showing you how to achieve the look that I'm wearing right now. I wanted to play today with some shimmery shades, some brown eyeliner. I really wanted to do brown eyeliner today. I feel like I wanted to do something other than the usual black liner. But anyway, I really hope you guys like the look. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to use some moisturizing cream as a primer today. This is the Laura Pose Hydrain Light. No, sorry, this is the extra rich one. So I'm going to apply it all over my face with my fingers and this is going to be the base for my makeup. Next for foundation, I'm going with the Maybelline Fit Me and I'm in the shade... No, <laughs> I don't know if this is my shade, it's going to be the first time I'm using it, but I have it in 105, so let's see how it looks. I'll use my beauty blender to apply it all over my face. It actually looks really good on the skin and I like that it doesn't feel too heavy. The shade might be a little bit too dark for me, but we're gonna make it work. <laughs> for concealer today, I'm going with the Revlon Color Stay and I'm in the shade Fair. So I'm just applying it under my eyes and after that, I'm blending it out with my beauty blender. Nice. <laughs> and then I'll set it with the L'Oreal Nude BB Powder. The brush I'm using is the Sigma F79. I also use just a very thin layer of the same powder to set my entire face. And the brush I'm using is the Morphe M402. Going on the brows now, I'll use this brow pencil here by Benefit. Look how cute packaging. <laughs> this is in the shade number 3. I'm using some of that Revlon concealer to clean up the edges. And next, I'll prime my eyelids with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm applying it with my fingers. Alright, so for today's look, I'll use the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I know that you might be tired of everyone saying how good this smells, but the truth is, it smells really good. <laughs> so first, I'll take this shade right here, it's called Peaches and Cream, and I'll use it to set that primer in place. I'm applying it from the lash line all the way up to the brow bone. And for today's look, I'll use my two most favorite shades from the whole palette. The first one is this one here, it's called Lashes. I'll use my fingers to apply it just on that lit area there. And you don't want to bring it above your crease. And next, I'll take this gorgeous peachy shade right here. It's called Candied Peach. With the MAC 217 brush, I'll just apply it in the crease and slightly above it. This is also going to diffuse the edges of that shimmery shade that we just applied. Alright, so this looks really good, but I want to deepen up the crease just a little bit more. So I'll take a mixture of these two brown shades and uh, with a pencil brush, this one is by the brand Le Page Trends. I will apply it in my crease and it doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure that you don't bring it um, on the lid area or too high in the crease. And then taking again that peachy shade on the same MAC 217 brush, I'll use it to blend everything out and make sure that there are no harsh lines. Okay, so next it's time for eyeliner. What I want to do is I want to use some brown eyeliner today, today instead of black. So I'll go with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in medium brown. I'm applying it with the Sigma E06. good let me guys know what you think also feel free to use your regular black eyeliner if you don't like the brown one i'm just playing around trying out different stuff okay so next let's go ahead and finish up the lower lash line i'm going to take again a mixture of these two brown shades here and i'll apply them along my lower lashes and the brush i'm using is the morphe m326 And to finish up the look, I'll glue on some false lashes. These are by Lily Lashes and they're in the style Kuwait. 
Okay, so now that the eyes are complete, let's go ahead and finish up the face. I'm taking this palette by Rimmel. It's the um, Coral Glow. And I will define my cheeks with this shade here. The brush I'm using is the Sigma F05. This is the first time I'm using this palette and I don't really know what to expect. So I'm very slowly building up the intensity of that contouring shade. Also a little bit on the top of my forehead. I also use the blush from the palette and I will apply it with the Morphe M509. I also add some of the highlighter. Oh, that's really powdery. Yeah, let's try it anyway. Oh, that looks nice. Just a little bit along my nose and on the tip of it, on my cupid's bow, in the inner corners of my eyes, and on my brow bone. On the lips, I'll go with this lip gloss here by Too Faced. This is again from the Sweet Peach collection, and it's called Papa Don Peach. It smells like paradise. Like if you could smell the paradise, this is what it would smell like. <laughs> and this is the finished look, guys. I really hope you like it. Let me know what you think about this hairstyle. I can I can do a tutorial on it if you would like me to. <laughs> Just let me know. Today I wanted to create something wearable but still something that had a little bit more color. You can see that the crease has a little bit more warmth in it, like it's not absolutely neutral. And I really like the end result and I really hope you guys like it too. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you do. Don't forget that you can also follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and also visit my blog. All of the links will be listed down in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!